It was something, it was an incident that happened in Rockhampton, and I've tried to tell this story every week that I've been on, and uh, it takes a long time, but that's, it was, that's, that's what happened. Not doing any more gigs there? No, I, I'm not welcome. I got punched by a chick in the face. She went, you want to kick in the toys, cock? I said, I beg your pardon? She want to kick in the toys, cock. And she punched me in the face. Yeah. Bloody Rockhampton, I hate it. We should, it'll, should remove Rockhampton from Australia and put it in Afghanistan. Silence. <laughs> it's important in some cases, but not on this show. Terra. Terra Dactyl. <laughs> Very much. Good to be here. You know budgie smugglers? Yes, I'm aware of them. Yes, people say, you, do you wear budgie smugglers? I say, no, I wear pterodactyl smugglers. Not, not because of the size of my penis, but because it's been extinct for a while. <laughs> no one's seen it for a few million years. <laughs> oh, no. Touring. Touring is great because you get to go to places like Rockhampton. Where people go, you want to kick in the toys, club? Association, but let's go a bit deeper. Let's go deeper, yeah. You used to call yourself Peter. Yes, Why? I did. I, when I started, when I started doing comedy, I did. I changed my name to Peter so people don't realise I'm ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but I'd show up and say RSL club, and they're here, Peter. You're more like a Abdul or something. I go, yeah, you're onto me, yeah. Uh, Akmal is is a good name actually. It means complete, complete fuckwit. <laughs> What don't you like to see when you first walk out on stage? I don't like, uh, like, it's actually much to, uh, a lot of people won't believe this, but it's actually harder to perform in front of a small audience. <laughs> the smallest audience I had ever was, uh, and Kitty may remember this, that the old comedy store when it was in Cleveland Street, right? And it happened to open State of Origin night, and four people showed up. Yep. Two couples, right? And and 10 comedians performing and then and then they had a break before they brought me on and two people went home <laughs> and, uh, and i said oh you can't put me on in front of two people and they said well they paid you have to go on so i went and just i just sat at their table and just told them shit <laughs> and then and it's the funniest part of the story i swear to god they gave me a lift home <laughs>